Hi guys, welcome to this um, system. It's gonna be the system of November. And it's the XS version. Not that it all matters, because this, what I'm gonna show you, has nothing to do with uh, any version. It's just basic Arch. So if you update your system, and this is probably quite a bit, no, that's okay. For us, this is okay, 352. We used to have gigabytes in updates so if that's not your thing for whatever reason money wise or where you live speed and all that then maybe right maybe it's not for you what i want to show you is probably gonna show up and pop up in here there we go we started these things here warning possibly missing firmware and people from time to time ask that. And the same applies here, console font. This will be fixed in January. I've just added a font to a console font and well, I won't see the morning anymore. But this thing might be concerning. And I've told, or we've told last four years, it's just what it is, a warning. You don't need it. But I was developing the one for the ISIS for, um, January 2022 then and uh, so that so I don't want to see this right every single time I, I read all the code every all the output looking for errors and warnings and all that and each time I have to tell myself scroll on scroll on it's not important warning warning and even found a article on this one I think XHCI PCI uh, telling on on the the bug zilla or whatever it's called the, the website where the bugs of arch are saying this is a driver of 2004 and uh, why do you keep it around well it doesn't hurt anybody so voila it stays in so the kernel supports that uh, part of hardware as well but we get this warning now i was looking for wrong things right errors following the code reading the code and i thought now it's enough <laughs> after four years i said whatever right i've never installed it well occasionally i've installed it but um you're too lazy and you just keep on updating and you just keep it saying warning warning i've made the packages so if you're tired of it as well so you don't need to do it but i've now put it into my Arco Linux Nemesis script. So it's not gonna show up anymore for me. <sighs> gone, misery gone, right? Sudo, so first update of course, so you get the new databases in. And then it's the AI, AI, C, and that's it. If I install this guy, first line will be gone. Is it important? No, it's not important, but heck, it's 0 0.02 or installed 0 0.03, Pfft, right? If I am then happy and I don't see the warning, voila. 719X firmware, poof, 0 0.01, it's gone. I won't see it anymore, I'll show you later. And this one, I really had to look, well, almost five minutes for it. <laughs> And then I figured out it's the up to 72020XFW. Really is quite clear here that this is the same thing, right? That's why I had to look for almost five minutes. And here you see already what's happening. No warnings anymore. This is the same thing, right? We're creating them the init CPIO images this is what used to be and this is what will be the only thing that's still in here is a console font and if you don't like that let's combine it let's combine it in the video what do you do you go to the internet and chromium is not in yet installed nothing is installed this is the xs variant i mean there is nothing there is no browser yeah you asked for a minimal ISO, you getting a minimal ISO. There is nothing, just Discord there because I made a screenshot and I wanted to share it. So, sudo pacman minus s firefox. Right, oops. Everybody knows my password now. 
Et voilà. So, Firefox is there. You know me, I want to teach, right? Not say, press this button, press that button, done. It's a console font. ArchWiki console font. ArchWiki NVIDIA, ArchWiki AMD, and so on, and so on, and so on. Now, let's see if I find it. Because that's, of course, something else. Refining again what I was looking for. This, yeah, yes, 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 getting closer, getting closer. Um, there was a link, a link, a link, a link. That's it. These are all the console fonts you can use. If we press Ctrl Alt F1, Ctrl Alt F2, F3, F4, F1 is SEDM. Eh? And if you're on Lightium, then it's Ctrl Alt F7. But F2, F3, F4, F5, F6 is all for you. All TTYs, fine. With what font? And that's what he's asking. He says you don't have a font. So in the next ISO, in January, we'll tell him what font to use, right? We'll tell him. But you can choose between all these guys. And I believe I've made a choice, something with gr, something. Uh, one of these guys. I have it on paper because I had to remember, had to look for a good one. Yep, still got it here. Nice post-it. And it's the GR737C that I went for. One of these guys, C, eight times by 14. That's the guy I've chosen after testing out a few, like a 20, 30 of them. I said, okay, let's go for that. If you don't want to see the console font, what do you do? You say sudo nano etc v console font. And people who are already installing Arch Linux, they recognize this because it's the file we need to edit. And it should say something and he, he doesn't find anything. And that's why the warning is there. So gr737c, so you can take any of these fonts you want, right? But this will be our font until I change it again. Eh? GR737C minus 8 times 14. Control X. Yes, please. Save it. Open it up again. Voila. There it is. Control X. And then you do it, for example, again, a sudo make init cpio minus capital p so anything that's available linux linux lts linux n linux r anything it finds and the error is gone there is no console font problem anymore because he found something now we're really without warnings all right enjoy <laughs>